I went to Baylor, was an economics major in the business school. Uh, I knew that I wanted to do some sort of uh, higher education beyond that, I guess a, a doctoral degree when I was done, and I wasn't sure, I was kind of waffling between maybe law school, maybe med school, I didn't know. And I ended up in medical school in Galveston, Texas at UTMB, interviewed at multiple places around the country, and Shreveport was just my favorite. It had this small town feel, but it was a big enough town that you could still have resources and have have things around to experience and do and I remember when I when I got here it was the residents that really stuck out to me uh, specifically in my program that just felt like a family and it didn't feel like it was this big uh, production it didn't feel like it was going to be this miserable slog through residency it felt like it was just going to be a family and I got here and I loved it when residency was coming to an end we decided that this was a great place and we had you know found a church here found a family here found friends here and so we decided that we wanted to stay ENT, so otolaryngology, it actually is technically otorhinolaryngology, but that's too long to put on a coat. No one wants to say it. So we just say ENT, which means ear, nose, throat. And it's a general description of where we work. So uh, ENTs, uh, sometimes called head and neck surgeons, sometimes called otolaryngologists, we're more defined by a region of the body than we are defined by a certain system. So we work basically from the clavicles up, sinus disease, people with allergies, we deal with that, people with, like I said, ear problems, problems, uh, throat problems, swallowing disorders, neck masses, head and neck cancer, that's all in our realm. Our practice is geared towards a little bit of everything. We want to truly be your one-stop shop for ENT needs. We are interested in sinus disease. So if you've got sinus problems, we do sinus surgery. We, we have interest in that. And if your, your problems stop a little bit earlier, you just have allergies. We do allergy testing. We're doing allergy shots. Uh, we're taking care of people from, you know, as far as their sinuses are concerned, from diagnosis of allergy through treatment of allergy. And then if you do need surgery, then we have that option for you as well. We are interested in hearing loss and cochlear implants, which I think is pretty useful unique in the area. I know there's a couple places nearby you can get it, but not a lot in town where you can, you know, get this taken care of. And we want to be able to be, again, your one-stop shop. You have a problem, we can test your hearing, and then we can treat you as needed within the walls of our clinic so we don't have to ship you out all over the place. Uh, we are interested, you know, in taking care of pediatrics. That's, you always think about the, you know, the standard care of an ENT, tubes and tonsils. So ear tubes and tonsillectomies. And honestly, those are really, really rewarding to take care of as a physician because patients come in with an immediate need. You can take Take care of it very quickly and then you see patients recover quickly and then you see this big change in their life and that's a lot of fun to take care of so even though it's something simple and maybe you think of as like oh this is a very basic of ENT practice it's something we really enjoy and we take pride in doing well I think what's nice about it is everybody has an ENT problem right so you know not everyone has a foot problem not everyone has a hand problem but everybody ends up having a problem with their sinuses or a cough or swallowing or hearing or something in our realm so I feel like there's some way you can help everybody and it's a nice way to pick a specialty but it still lets you be general enough that you can help a large number of people. I'm a doctor, right? But I also go to the doctor and I know that it can be terrible. It's, it's a lot, it can be a long wait. It can be, a, you know, someone that sees you for three minutes and then wanders away and you wonder, did they remember my name? Did they even know who I was? I, and did they hear my problems? Did they hear my complaints? I have questions because, you know, I, like I said, I'm a doctor, but I don't know everything. So if I have problems with my stomach, I got to go talk to a guy that knows. And I wonder, did he even hear my problem? Did he tell me? And we don't want you to feel like that at our clinic. Our goal is for you to come in and feel like you're heard and feel like you've been taken care of and feel like we have done our best to make you your best. We don't want you to think that, oh, I just got glossed over by that guy. I just got brushed under the rug because he didn't take my problem seriously. No, we want to take all problems seriously. And we want you to walk out thinking, you know, I, I got the answer I was looking for, or we're looking for the answers, or at least I, you know, I was taken care of, and I felt like I wasn't just a number in that clinic.